Yeah, so first of all, you have to understand that this is not a new conversation. I have gone back and forth and back and forth and brought it again and brought it again. And I feel like I, I'm just at the point where I'm supposed to make a decision and make that decision consistently and stop fucking talking, right? Stop fucking mm -hmm. questioning it. I think that's what's happening right now. I think maybe I'm in the front of facing fear. Maybe there's some fear in there and I should just, just shut the fuck up and go do the thing. You know, and I've spent the, the past six years now, it's going up to six, almost seven. It's too long a time to be to be yeah. held back by one thing, you know. Um, and I do feel held back, even though I could argue that in that time I've become a different person. I've learned a lot. I've started online businesses where, you know, at the bottom of all of these things, I'm not still like feeling fulfilled and happy and feeling like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, you know. And so I, I guess when that thing happened with my album and in my mind, this was the best album ever, but I just couldn't give it, I just couldn't do it justice. Right. And I just felt like people overlooked it. Like I took it so personally. I don't know why I took it personal. I don't know how it hurt me so much. And it really did hurt me. And I just said, you know what, fuck this shit. I don't want to do it anymore. Like I don't want to kill myself over something that doesn't, you know, make me happy or you know fills me up or i have to stress and hustle and die to make this album work and then you guys still don't support the album that's just how i felt you know and going up to six years now i almost because in that time i wasn't listening to music you have to understand even my own music everybody's music i wasn't listening i didn't know what was going on in the, in the industry i literally just downloaded and installed apple music last year like it was my first interaction with apple music so like it's like the world had changed so much when i stopped wasting using cds and stuff you know like cds right and it's like the world changed so much and here i am i'm saying i want to do it again but now it feels like I'm doing it like a job, you know, like I don't love it as much as I loved it, you know, and then I'm juggling so many things because I'm hustling on my nine to five in quotes, which is my online business, right? You know, my side hustles as a content creator and all of those things, which I love, which allows me to express myself and teach and do all those fun things. But I cannot deny the hurt that I feel when I see like other artists who I used to know who are so ahead right now because they kept on putting the time. And people say these things like, oh, your throne, metaphorically speaking, is still there. It's waiting for you, Eva. Come and take your throne. Nobody yeah. has filled up the space yet. And it's not even about that for me anymore. And I don't even know what it's about for me right now. And I've dabbled into this and that with my music and poetry and spoken word shit and all of those things. And there's just like a big part of me that just knows that I should be on the fucking stage, which is the part where I'm feeling like, just shut up and, and go do the thing again. So I guess maybe my question is, I don't know. <laughs> you see what I mean by I am right at the point where I need to stop talking about it and just go do it again, right? I and, think it's beautiful that, that you're having this conversation. And a, and a lot of times, like if I'm looking at you and if I'm being honest, you seem like you're still working this out in real time as the words are coming out of your mouth. You're still doing self-evaluation on how you feel about it. And there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. No one has ever said that you need to have all the right answers or all the answers at all, right? Mm -hmm. You have people that support you and love you because you tell stories that help people, right? Like I've, I'm, I'm a, like, I'm a fan first. I'm like, I've, I've dug into your music. I, I've nerved the message. Like, look at like, even, most recently, I reacted to the video you did for Still a Ho, and yeah, that's not that's not a hey. I'm I'm trying to make a pop record so I can go and sell stuff out. Like there are people who are going to look at the art that you create, and it's going to help them get over personal traumas long after you've given up on music or moved on or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So like, what you choose to do in your own time, I believe as a fan who has watched what you've created up until this point and. I've been blessed enough to be able to have conversations with you and pick your brain a little bit here and there. I'm confident whatever you decide to do, you <laughs> will find fulfillment in. There's, there's no doubt in my mind about that. Now, that is the problem. It feels like all these years, no matter what I did, I kept on thinking about this one thing. 
And I have tried in the past, maybe two years ago, one year ago to, you know, do something. I'm like, okay, you know what? This is the year I'm going to put out an album. I'm doing it again right now. And I don't want to feel like I'm trying to prove a point or I don't want to feel like I'm trying to make the last album before I die. You know, when I had this dream, it was like a long-term play. You know, it was a Michael Jackson dream. It was that. It wasn't even like, the, it was way before the Eminem times, right? I come from a Michael Jackson era. Like I want to perform, I want to be on stage. And I feel like I haven't really done that yet. And so there's a part of me that just keeps on, there's, there's a piece of me inside that keeps on wanting that to the point where no matter what I do, no matter how grand it is that I do it, this other thing feels like a failure if I don't go back and fix it. Does that make sense? It, it does. Uh, well, not, well, no, 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 I got failure, you. But it feels like incomplete, you know? Work up, work left undone. Yeah. Watching? Yeah. So I guess maybe th there's actually a part of me that has made that decision that I will do it. And... And I'm, I, I want to learn how to throw all the expectations out the window. I used to want to be like, oh, the female rapper. I feel like I don't give a fuck anymore about that shit. <laughs> I just Can I ask you some it. personal questions about this? Yeah. What makes you happy? Helping people makes me happy, to be honest. Like. I think this is why I was able to survive all this time when I wasn't doing the music, you know, because I was helping people in other ways. So knowing that something that I said changed somebody's mind, touched somebody's heart, helped somebody. My best moments as a creator have come from the comments that said, oh, you just saved my life. I did not commit suicide or I love that song so much. It got me through a breakup or thank you so much. I, I never would have you know, done this or that without that thing that you said, you know? So I find now that I'm able to do that even without doing the music. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the music, the music wasn't the goal. The goal was to change people's lives for the better. And music was just the vessel that you were using to deliver that. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. You know, this is so powerful what you just said, because this is, this is, this, what you just said is the break point. This is the eureka moment for me. And I, I need to hear that again and again and again and really internalize what it really means. Because I think like, what really happened was an ego death with me, an identity death um, in the past where I had to really separate who I was from Eva the rapper. It was like, fuck this shit. I want to go be me. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And so what you just said is so powerful because like it helps a lot to see it as, you know, a vessel. And it's crazy because my angel keeps saying that like, she says, just write. You don't have to write rap or write a poem or write, just write. <laughs> and then when I'm trying to write, she says, well, now you're trying too hard because you're not letting it flow. That's just right. write. <laughs> so, wow, that was powerful, Steve. Thank you. I will, I will say this, especially in terms, like you said, like I'm not trying to be like being the female rapper isn't like the, wasn't the, isn't the goal, right? Right. It's not to, to be the best. Yeah. I'm going to, I will say this. I have the, the privilege of interacting with a lot of incredible women throughout the industry in different capacities, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you look right now, there's a, there's a young artist, Stella, who's like really, really practicing her craft right now. She's on like a lot of the up and coming competitions and like, she's really putting her best foot forward. Right. And it's, it's great to see that. Then you have people like Queen Moda, who's a battle rapper in Nigeria, who's just a fucking monster. Like no one really wants that problem with her and shit like that. Then you got like PQ to pristine queen, right? Shout out to Queen uh, Aziza out in South Africa. She's literally the best interviewer on the planet and the mm. most passionate fucking hip hop person that I know. 
and mm -hmm. all of them are making differences in their own ways, right? Like all of them are inspiration in their own ways and there's no mm -hmm. right way or wrong way to do about it. And I mm -hmm. think when you have a creative mind like you do, the vessel isn't important, right? Like the vessel is, is going to be what the vessel is. But like the same way when we talked about in a relationship, Rob said people need to be more selfish and focus on their happiness. Like, yeah. I think for you, in my opinion, as an observer, as a fan, right? I want you to be happy more than I want an album for the sake of having an album. As a fan, <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? Like if someone's really cares about, about you in your yeah. life, they're going to want what's best for you at the end of the day, no matter what that looks like. Uh, so the reason I ask, like what makes you happy is like, we, we want to know how to support the people that, that make a difference. Like if there's, think about that. Like if someone saved your life with their music, would you not want to know what's the best way to support that person and their mental, right? Yeah. I think you may be putting unnecessary pressure on yourself to perform in specific avenues. And that's what makes it feel like a job, right? Like when someone tells you, you have to do this and this is the way that you have to do it. Yeah. That's work. That's not passion. That's work. Look, let me tell you something. Um, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> when I started recording this album that I'm recording now, mm -hmm. my angel said to me, don't be a rapper. Just let the music come through you. <laughs> and she was very serious about that. And it turns out that like every time I went into the studio, rap didn't want to come out. <laughs> the music wanted to come out. And so I was experiencing the music just as music and not needing to like mold it into rap by force or be a hip hop artist or anything. It's like, okay, you know what? Just be creative and just receive this message however it comes. Um, and I enjoyed that. I really loved that. I had like multiple orgasms in the studio every single time that we, we recorded. And, and that's how I know like a record is good. Like if I have an orgasm after recording, it's like, yes, it worked. That was a good <laughs> one. For real. And so. Um, you have a lot of motherfuckers wanting to be in your studio sessions once this airs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to see me. It's nasty. <laughs> Screaming, have me scream like ah! because it goes through my whole body. Like I don't know if I could create. I, I, I've come to understand now that the sexual energy, the creative energy, they're one and the same. But I'm really inside my sex when I'm making music, even when I'm performing. It's crazy. And and just from this quick conversation with you now, I think I understand um, what it is. You know, like there are several different molds that I need to let go of. Like you don't have to mold your purpose in any different in any specific vessel and you don't have to mold the craft in any specific form or format or medium like if i want to talk talk if you want to make a poem poem like have a poetry do that if you want to rap rap if you want to sing sing you know and just keep on expressing because i need i think like this the tightness comes from having that creative energy blocked in my body where i feel like well i'm not utilizing the highest aspects of my artistry as an artist it's like Leonardo da Vinci never making art, you know, that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't say that like in an egotistic way. It's just like, get your shit off queen. You can be you, allowed to have some ego. Ego is not a bad thing. You got to feel, if you don't feel yourself, why, how can you expect anyone else to feel you? Real shit. No, but I really feel that. I really feel like it's like Leonardo da Vinci never making art. And, and, so yeah. Okay. I will say this, if it makes you feel any better, Whatever avenue you decide to pick, GS Gang got your back. We're going to be here hey. to support you, whatever it looked like. You know what I mean? I got you. Thank you so much. Oh, that was so good. You know what it is, baby. And I, <laughs> I hope to God this is the last time I have this conversation because I don't need to keep on going back and forth on it. I'm so done. Like, oh. Well, now, now I'll, I'll, I'll post this to the channel. And every time <laughs> someone asks you about it, you just send them a link. Just send them the link. You don't even need to talk. Just send them the link. You're like, look, we've discussed it. This is beneath me now. I've put I've put this behind me. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Also, nah, this has been really. this has been so beautiful. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me today.